الدراري مرحبا بكم في another episode of the Moroccan Music Basement. اليوم غادي نشوفوا جوج ديال لي زيبي that are really really interesting. One of them by Omar Al Husseini and the other one is by Ahmed Azhar. Let's go. Do the intro and we can meet after that. Here we are. I had the old EP that was 55.91 by Ahmed Azhar. This EP sounds like a radio signal. But anyway, regardless, it was released a while ago. This is a very diverse EP. It has a lot of fusion and staccato, polyrhythms and stuff like that. So without further ado, I need to do a quick reaction to one of my favorite songs in the EP. What do you say we can go through it together? Shall we? Let's go. Song I chose and I did a reaction to Zerba. He has story. Tabi thal ma gadi shemshi through the entire song. Gadi nakhud some parts. Try jibtshui the li the time and hadik song. How I feel about it. Shnuli catch my ear and what's going on. Okay, let's do. The usage of changes are very beautiful. They are changes, time signatures. Well, you know, everything is happening. Uh, the context of the other instruments are happening. The the violin, changes the mod. Changes of mods have been minor, major, or virgin, or something like that. Uh, I would say it's a progressive rock. Fusion kind of ish. Alas, it's just the way it's happening in the composition. Um, it's it's progressing. And you miss it, you have to look The more you're adding bits that are different from the previous bits or phrases, the more we have something called progressive music. Because I'm going to say that is a very beautiful demonstration of love progressive music, which is what I like. I really dig this stuff. All right. That's pretty much it. I really love this this EP. Uh, I when I used to go to work, I used to listen to it for a while before I did this review because I really want to pick on the details here. I want to talk about stuff that I'm enjoying and that I see from my own perspective. So I hope you guys go check it because you know this EP deserves a lot of love. I really want you guys and I can shoot that ball and bombard it with some likes and comments and subscribe to his channel. Make sure to comment there that you came from this video. You know, Papa Zach is here. Tell him I came from there. <laughs> Just kidding. You can do whatever you want. So yeah, that's what we're talking about uh, so far. Uh, let's see. Who is this? What's up, my dude? How you doing? Where's the which is like video, video. What's going on here? It's like video. Okay, whatever. You want to say something? Yo, thank you for bringing me here. Zach number two here. Just want to say if you really, really like what I do, you better smash that subscribe button and hit that like as well. And make sure to activate the bell so you'll be more notified about what's going on in the future. So you don't miss a damn thing. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'll see you again. All right, so the next EP I'm gonna draw is by H2O by Omar. The full EP is called Earth. I didn't until when lions die. And we're gonna try to break it down into which not the EP. Let's go. One thing 
second that I've noticed here, that the main riff is kind of dancey, and the one it's catchy. Hit it, let's. When you try to break the normal, like it's on normal rhythms, whether with power chords with a one on a four over four, the she can look at it. Now, if you look at the time signature, the four over four is a bad thing. No, it's a good thing. Then, who will you? If you utilize it to its limits, normal usage piano, it sometimes it sounds beautiful. For me, the Kishi Kansnada Ba is very, very catchy because it's kind of it's kind of a dancey riff. So let's just see what's happening. Also, the riff, the main riff is kind of weird and has a weird vibe. The Kishi it's kind of catchy, like da 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 you know, I gotta, I gotta say something there. The, this solo kind of feels. I like any shibatsu of your Dragon Ball Z is happening between Kakarot or Vegeta or someone. Uh, it really brings that vibe. I really enjoy it. I'm enjoying this. I'm sorry. I'm not saying it like it's a bad thing. It's a good thing. Like I'm enjoying the battle sound or the battle vibe out of this song. It kind of brings the vibe of uh, Prince, Prince of Persia somehow with it. The layers of synth that came into the background as well. Okay, so uh, the first section or the first song, When Lions Die, it's really enjoyable. I dig the vibe. It's not dark and it's not very happy, just out of nowhere as well. Kainwa had a tremendous effort to towards the progression. The way I see it, although we have a couple of solos in the track, uh, I feel I could be wrong. But the way I feel is like it's mainly um, riff driven before it's leads driven. You know what I'm saying? All right, today we're going to have the last one. I'm going to give you a little bit of a little bit of a I really dig doing this, vraiment. I hope you guys support this channel by subscribing and liking, and that would be really, really appreciated. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.